Hi everyone, Coach Jeremy here. As hockey players, we learn very early the value of resilience. Think about the first time that you learned how to ice skate. We know everybody falls down, but we learn how to get back up. We learn how to bounce back. So if it's in the middle of a hockey season or the midst of a pandemic, we wanna use that experience to continue to stay positive have a, an optimistic outlook on life, and continue to control what we can control. So, to that end, I wanna share a visualization technique with all of you that I think that could help plan out our day. So we wanna ask ourselves, what can we do each day to stay proactive about our health, continue to build resiliency, and continue to prepare ourselves for all the difficulties that life can throw our way. So, let's try it together. Give yoga a try. Start your day with a nutritious breakfast. Make a self-care plan. Keep it simple, write it down, and post it somewhere you can see. Make some time for a good book. Exercise is key, so don't stop running. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Cheers. Keep looking for the positive things in life and write them down in your gratitude journal. Help out with the chores. Feels good and your family will appreciate it. Remember to get plenty of sleep. Good night. Welcome back. Now you have an idea of some of the things that are part of my self-care routine, but you can do this easily at home in three simple steps. Step one, this visualization technique starts with deep breathing. First thing we wanna do is we wanna find a comfortable spot on the floor or in a chair. Either way, we wanna imagine ourselves as a strong mountain with a sturdy base, with our abdominals, our chest, and our head in good posture on that base. Now we can begin some deep breathing. Four seconds inhale, six seconds exhale. We want both to be long and slow, and we wanna feel them in our expanding belly and our rib cage. Now we wanna take that pattern, four second inhale, six second exhale, and we wanna do that three to five times. The purpose here being, we wanna focus on our breath and we wanna clear our mind to get ourselves ready to visualize what we can control and what we wanna do. Your mind will wander, it's natural. Don't worry, just bring your focus back to your breath. Now, step two. Once we feel that we are able to clear our mind, we wanna start the visualization process. So I want you to ask yourself, what can I control and what can I do to be proactive about my health? You can choose examples from my life, but I wanna encourage you to make it your own. Now, whatever you choose to visualize, I want you to picture it in your mind's eye, but even more importantly, I want you to feel yourself in that moment. What does it feel like to do what you're visualizing? For example, if you're picturing yourself out on the ice, do you feel your edges cutting through the ice? Do you hear the echoes of pucks and posts and chatter around the rink? Do you feel the air as you're skating? 
do it in as much detail as you possibly can so that you can feel yourself in that moment. Now that we've taken some time to visualize what we can control and what we want to do, step three is a really important one. Write it down. Get it out of your head, put it on paper so that you can see it and it can see you every day. This is a way that we can hold ourselves accountable. Now, we want to come away with this with maybe three simple goals, but start small. Keep it simple. Visualize one thing at a time and see where it goes from there. So give this one a try at home. Stay positive. Continue to focus on the things you can control. And I guarantee you can start to build resiliency and continue to grow one day at a time. And remember, don't ever hesitate to ask for help. Stay strong, Snyder Hockey.